Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So recently there is a conversation, like the conversation is coming back. Will that China ban or AI will affect GPUs for gaming? Because that's going on. And now recently there was some ban in China with 4090. And you know, a lot of like suppliers were sending quickly all the GPUs to China. Now the prices are going crazy for 4090. And we're getting articles now that China is converting gaming GPU. Look, the whole palette of GPUs converting into this. So whole palettes, yeah, gaming. This is gaming GPU strip down to the bare minimum and change into this one into this ugly you know stuff that nobody wants like normally nobody wants it except for professionals because that's what they do want and you know all the testing all this all, all 4090 all 4090 taken away from us all different time doesn't matter yeah just convert it strip down you know, all these expensive coolers, triple fans, change to that ugly one. And why would you like to do that? Because of this, guys. Look, because of this. This is two slots. Two slots, tiny one. Yes. And you know, when you put in a server, it doesn't matter how loud it is. You just push a lot of air through, you know, it sucks the air and push the air out. You know, the blower style. Blower style of cooler. Look, this is tiny, tiny. That's why. That's why professionals want this. That's why they want ugly. We don't want them. That's what professional wants. So here you go, guys. Now Nvidia have record profits. Like it's skyrocketing. I think it's even higher now. It's going to like 15 billions. And funny because part of that is officially from gaming segment. You know, this all 4090 that's going to China. It's uh, gaming. It's gaming GPUs. And Jensen is becoming extremely rich now. Like very quickly becoming super rich, guys. And at the moment of filming this, look, 27th in the whole world. Not far away from Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, Warren Buffett. Not that far. It's going up. It's like skyrocketing. Maybe soon we'll be number one. Who knows? This is not just making uh, funny pictures, you know, AI generated pictures. This is like arm race between countries, especially between United States and China. And guys, this ban to China, I don't think it's gonna work. You know, China will find a way to get those GPUs. You know, it's not like the product is not banned from different countries you know china can buy from uk from different and just smuggle them yeah it will be more expensive than through official channels but come on guys do you think china won't find a way to get all, all, all these gpus and look now it's coming even for potentially maybe 7900 xtx and xt and dell yeah dell recently stopped selling those two uh, amd gpus to china as well so 7900 xtx and and one professional card as well i think mean, professional one is of officially banned but the gaming ones it's potentially a mistake by dell because there's another article actually this is now visualization what the GPUs Dell doesn't want to sell to China. So this is officially banned with 48 gigabytes of VRAM, but these two are not. However, this article claims that the ban of 4090 is already affecting the prices of 7900 XTX. But I'm not sure about this, you know, depends. I don't know. Maybe it affects a little bit. I don't know. Let me know. I don't see that much difference maybe a little bit however what i find interesting about in this article that in some metrics yeah in one in particular 7900 xtx is stronger than 4090 which i didn't know actually i did know but uh, like forgot and from what i know this particular specification doesn't affect the ban that's not what the ban is based on because according to this article in investing.com the ban is based on like TPP metric, which I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not the other one, which 4090 have 4800, yeah, and 7900 XTX has only 2000, so much like weaker in that specific scenario. However, I check, you know, tech power up and, you know, the teraflops, this specific one teraflop, 82 teraflops and... 7900 XTX has 122 so it's true but guys gaming performance it's you know much weaker comparing to 4090 so it's quite quite behind so this doesn't affect gaming at least in most games maybe there's some odd exception here and there like call of duty maybe i don't know 
let me know but it doesn't doesn't look like and according to like a lot of like experts Dell is probably doing a mistake or misinterpret the law but maybe they'll have different reasons I don't know maybe they don't they don't want to sell to China because it's big corporation buying when for a lot of companies it's not just about this one sells but also the brand recognition so selling to China is just a single sell but selling to a normal customers it means the customers like maybe build brand ro- loyalty because guys let's be honest most people buy whatever they had in the past if you have Nvidia GPU you very likely will have Nvidia GPU in the future as well like the next one will be the same brand if you happy with I don't know for example Asus it's very likely your next purchase will be Asus as well I mean not 100% but more likely because you were happy with your previous purchase that's how it works you know we are very biased towards you know next purchase based on our past experience that's that's like normal thing so maybe Dell is aiming at that I don't know you can let me know as well because I don't think they're making such a silly mistake and not selling product to a customer that want the product and there is no law you know forbidding you from doing that so that's a little bit weird however you know and by the way as I said it's not about making pictures you know and by the way I installed the software on my PC like it's very heavy like many gigabytes of software and lots of plugins quite complicated to even install the software and this kind of image generation guys it's VRAM like like candies like like it's nothing like 24 gigabytes of VRAM is like nothing you generate a picture yeah 24 of, uh, of VRAM please like wow so but guys it's not only that you know this this country is using these GPs almost like a weapon it's like a cold war you know because information like is knowledge so maybe AI power is like real power as well maybe that's you know like China and US like almost fighting who will be first who will have more AI power you know so that, that that's you know that's a big thing and how it affects uh, GPUs market so at the moment like 4090 yeah, it's like sold out pretty much we only have like scalper uh, prices maybe not to the level like we have during the Bitcoin crazy but we have a little bit of that like 4090 is pretty much sold out funny enough this GPU which is normally very expensive is the least expensive at the moment but it's not like was in during the Bitcoin when the prices was going more than double the price it is way more but not double yet uh, the other GPUs I don't think it's affected that much like 4080 what I see is a little bit more expensive I think it was below that so it's going a little bit higher and maybe when you cannot buy 4090 at a normal price a lot of people will go a little bit down that's what we had during Bitcoin so even the cards that wasn't used for mining was still extremely expensive because you couldn't get the mining cards like normal use for mining so people were going you know down down the stack to the weaker and weaker and weaker cards so at some point all the cards was very expensive so maybe it does affect a little bit like this card supposed to drop in price long time ago you know like this is not popular card but went up in price especially now when we expect in super version of 4080 so that's you know yeah maybe there is some truth in that maybe it does affect pricing however 4070 ti went down in price normally normal price for this gpu is 800 dollars and all the aib models sh- should be more than that but it's going down quite a lot actually but it's 12 gigabytes so it's not that good for artificial intelligence so maybe 4070 very very nice price 515 very very nice price and it's going down uh XTX 900 I think that card at one point was below 900 but I don't know it's not going up it's not going down it's like stable so I don't see that much difference here to be honest XT goes down a bit and it's 20 gigabytes of VRAM but I don't know how good they are uh, for AI I was using my XTX for you know making these pictures and it was working fine using more than 20 gigabytes of VRAM but I don't know I don't know how it is comparing to Nvidia 7800 XT 500 that's pretty normal price but for a different reason actually the same and now UK the prices are more normal this they are more expensive because I think the lowest point during summertime the summertime was the sweet spot was the the perfect time to buy a GPU and I bought at the end of summer it was good time for me and I've seen some models going down to almost like 1500 uh, British pounds by the way not dollars but it's more expensive than dollar by the way but it's with included tax so 
yeah uh 4080 yeah it's still expensive that doesn't go down or up so maybe this ai actually hold the price because it should be lower uh 4070 ti yeah i don't know maybe should be lower especially waiting for super and 4070 non-ti yeah, it's going down very nicely now xtx in united kingdom like this is the lowest i've never seen this card so low like 999 no, 899 was the lowest from what I've seen. But I've got Pulse version, you know, during summertime was 899. So this card went up in price in UK. You know, this model is above 1000. It was below 1000 during summertime. So it went up a little bit, guys. And XT version, I think it's going down. I think it's going down, you know, 7800 XT, 492, yeah, a few models below 500 British pounds. So guys, what I think about this, I think it can affect, definitely. We can see that 4090 definitely is affected. And when you go down the stack, I don't know if it is affected, guys. The thing is the price didn't change, but maybe it would change without AI, maybe, you know. However, what I think about AI, it can potentially speed up GPU development because guys now it's a like arm race whoever develop quicker and the manufacturer like AMD and Nvidia knows when they make new GPU is gonna sell now it's gonna sell definitely the professional cards are gonna sell unless AI uh, like boom you know it's a bubble and gonna burst who knows guys more profitability from GPUs maybe new players coming like maybe Intel has their chance because the gaming is, is not very big for them but maybe because AI is becoming like important maybe some people will be using for AI because maybe drivers are not that important for that you just need pure performance lots of VRAM so maybe or maybe even different players maybe even different players start making GPUs maybe not the best ones but cheaper ones maybe and uh, guys at the end nobody knows nobody knows everybody making like a big titles because that's that says that's like all the media you know once make the big title that catching your eyes like clickbaits you know like oh there's gpu shortage you know buy now or you lose uh, use your chance to play games and others said guys don't believe they making drama when truth is possibly probably somewhere in be in between like in the middle when it usually is but when it's truth in the middle it's like meh you know it doesn't sell when you make like a, a video or article saying like guys it's a little bit affected but it's not a big deal that's not a title that you know you're gonna click so yeah guys that's how it looks like 4090 is definitely affected some other cards maybe a little bit you know but i don't think it's that much but maybe it will be much guys let me know what you think you know because this thing is developing but what you think is like predicting kind of guessing like betting nobody knows what's gonna happen so guys yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next one.